Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today um, is the Saturday Stamping Collaboration. Um, hosting, as per usual, is Patty from Patty's Polish Corner. Um, and the theme this week is flowers. So on my nails, um, this is um, OPI, and this one is called Snow Day in LA so that's the white and it's a pearl kind of shimmery white and then the pink or pink purple the um is called all is berry and bright I'm also <laughs> going to use this pink and it is called big bow energy um these ones are from the celebration collection um i think beyond polish still has um these polishes um if not i mean, i know that they carry a lot of the opi polishes so don't forget to use my discount code if you order um and i don't think the canadian site's open yet but just the u.s site and then this polish is opi as well um, this one is called I'm So Swamped. It's an older polish. I'm going to be doing some reverse stamping. So that's why I was showing you all these polishes. I'm also going to use my sticky black. Um, this is the opaque polish from She Modern. If you order from She Modern, use my discount code. Gotta save your money. Um, so the theme is flowers. So I'm going to use... I just got... I placed an order with Mundo de Unis, um, March 13th, and um, I just received my my order. Um, it took about a month, and I did I did just regular shipping. I'm not paying like twenty dollars to have it go DHL and then ha them charge me their uh, outrageous. Um, shipping fee um, so I'm perfectly happy waiting for my order to get here because yeah I'm frugal and I'm not paying unwanted charges <laughs> um, anyway this one is uh, ZZ flowers 2 and I stand up so it is this cute flower plate so I think I'm going to use this image here so since um so I did get my um order I figure I'll show you. So this tissue was wrapped around the pouch. So it was on top and they always come in this really nice little pouch. So I'll show you the other ones I got as well. Um so I have a thing for gnomes. I call them gnomeos. Um, I have a bunch in my garden. So this one is AZ Love Gnomes. And it's got all these cute... Okay, there, my camera's finally focusing. So all these cute images. I think this one is more of a Valentine's one, but really you can use them anytime. AZ Gnomes. Look at how cute they are. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a gnome uh, one really soon. And this is uh, Mundo 01 and this is their Via Mexico and it is a layering plate. So and I love my tacos. So and I, I kind of like that it had the sugar skull on there and then this one actually this one comes with a backing and then they also included a card to show you what everything looks like once you've layered them all so that is kind of cute what is that that looks um so that's it i don't know what that is <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I think it looks like. Okay, uh, let's let's move on. Uh, AZ Reindeer. 
so S U Z. I say Z. You guys say Z. I don't know. A Z. <laughs> There's Z. S U Z. <laughs> it's funny because I say S U Z A N N E because that's my name, Suzanne, and and we say Z in Canada, and you guys say Z. So I never know when I'm talking. It's like, do you guys understand me? Just like with my my deckle. I say deckle and Americans or a lot of other people say decal. It's like, oh. okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm just ranting now. Okay. So this is right there. So I can't wait to, for it to be Christmas. Isn't, aren't they cute? So, and this one is the Grinch, Dr. Seuss and Cat in the Hat. I kind of like this one cause you got a variety. So, you got some of the images on all. And this one is Jack 3. And lots of yeah, nice images. And see, you can even use this anytime. Not just, you know, if you want to do stripes or whatever. And then Hocus Pocus 2. I'm going to have to get the Hocus Pocus one. I love Hocus Pocus. I don't know how many times I've watched this movie. But I love it. But anyway, so there's the Hocus Pocus. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And then this one is VZ25. And this one I is a Valentine's one as well. I, I liked the elephants. That was my favorite. So, so there's all the images and then a VZ 105 and I had to get some skulls. <laughs> I like that one. That one was kind of funny, but although I don't think it'll fit on any of my nails right now because I filed them down. But um, anyway, so that's, that's my little haul of uh, Mundo de Unas stamping plates so let's get on to stamping okay one sec okay so i'm gonna do this image so i'm just doing two nails i figured i didn't want to get involved in doing too many Okay, so it got a little smudgy on the side. So I, if you noticed, I re did the other way, but I can probably pick up a lot of it um, because my nails, it's wider than my nails. I'm not going to worry about the edge too much um, because it, we won't get transferred. Now, with their stamping plates, they do get they're they're more deeply etched. So, um, cotton balls do get shredded on them. Um, you can use like a piece of um, um, t-shirt or a cloth, or um, I forgot I can. Or like a no wipe, no, no lint wipe, which I have some of these, so we'll have to try these. So I'm just going to grab two, and I get a clothespin. So I'm going to just clothespin and try them out and see how that works for the next one. Um, you can also use a makeup sponge. Was, that's what I was originally going to look for. Um, but, um, those work as well. So let's, because I don't want to go on the, the side, let's go this way and see. So if you're concerned about scraping, sometimes just turn your plate and scrape the other way. And it should work. 
I'm not scraping hard enough is what it is. So yeah, I've kind of wrecked it. So let's try it again. Oops. <laughs> okay. So I don't want to touch it because I don't want to wreck my nails. <laughs> So I scraped a little firmer this time, so that worked out better. So I pick up all the crap I don't want. So there, that's much better. Okay, hang on one sec. Okay, so I have a piece of tin foil, and I'm just gonna make you watch one. Um, but, uh, and I'm just going to put down some polish and then I'm going to, I always brace my um, finger. Sorry, I had to, had to cough and I didn't want to cough in your ear. So I just go in and paint in what I want. Now, when you're painting, don't touch the brush to the image or to the stamper. Just um, just kind of float the, the polish. So now I'm going to get the pink. So then I just so you just kind of go in around and you can totally use a dotting tool if you want if you're more comfortable it just I learned originally with a brush so I've stuck with a brush um, the only time once in a blue moon, I'll try with the dotting tool. But, you know, like if I'm doing dots or whatever. But for the most part, I just stick with the brush. But whatever makes you comfortable, do. You don't, don't make it complicated. Just, just do. So there. So I just flip it over. And if there's... A spot missing you can just go in and then fill in what you're missing and if you go over the lines a little bit don't worry about it don't you don't have to be perfect it's nail art it's art art doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to be pretty and make you happy just do what makes you happy Right. So there, oh, I've got, see, and then when you're looking at the images, you can kind of see different little guys there, I want to do those. So then I just rinse my brush off in um, acetone to clean it off. I'm going to add some more purple to these couple little spots. Okay, one sec. Okay, so now we're going to do some green for the leaves.
So, there's a lot of leaves in this one. fill in so then I just kind of turn it over every once in a while and just check to make sure I've done it okay and I always do the full image you don't have to you can just you do as much as you're going to use but Sometimes if I have a really good piece of extra, um, I might use it on another nail, but this one I probably wouldn't use. So sometimes I'll do that. I'll... Okay, so you can see it all looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna do the other one off camera. Um, so I'm going to let this sit probably about 10 minutes and um, then we'll come back and I will show you how to apply it to your nail. Okay, one sec. So I'm back. I actually put one on already. Um, I have used Sticky Base Top Coat. So now we're just going to do this. <gasps> Okay, um, so I'm just going to place it. That was close. <laughs> really close. Okay, so now I'm just taking a little orange stick. I dropped that one, so it broke. Hang on, I'll throw that one away. So I just take a little orange stick. These are actually crystal ones. They're like plastic that I got off of AliExpress because they were cute. They were pretty. So I just take and I just kind of break it off. And then you can flip it over and then break it. Or you can get a pair of scissors and cut them off. I just break them off like that okay and then I take my brush and I dip it into acetone a little bit and I will just kind of clean up and because it's black I just kind of tap the reason I tap is because I go up and down because if you go side to side you're just going to smear it everywhere. And that's not fun. So, and then you can also, if you got it under your nails, get rid of that as well. Okay. So now I am going to take my, my SC speed setter. And I'm just going to put a coat over. And there you go. How pretty is that? I like that. Okay. So thank you for hanging out with me while I do my nails. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Um, I will have our, our collage photo of who participated this week uh, coming up um, along with um, everybody's um, individual pictures. And then, of course, I will have puppies. Okay. Uh, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Pippa, come. Come here. Give it to mommy. Hey, Joe, stop licking me. Pippa, come. Pippa, Pippa. Okay. 
Go get it. Mummy's aim is off. Pedro, stop it. <laughs> is that your cucumber? Is that your cucumber? Pedro. Hey. Well, I'm going to try to fucking fix it.